So today in Ultimate Team, EA did drop the Team of the Year midfielders and they all look really good and they're all very expensive. I will try and review some of them when, you know, their prices aren't as high as they are now. But today we have a review of the 91 rated moments, the Bowler. If you need some coins to improve your Ultimate Team, then check out my sponsor. There's a link to do so in the description, igvault.com. And if you use the code Kieran, you'll get yourself a nice discount. But if you use the code Kieran, T-O-T-Y, you'll get yourself an even bigger discount throughout the Team of the Year promo. Now this card has literally just come into the game and I won't lie I was expecting a player SBC today but I thought they were going to do like some flashback team the midfielder but um I'm definitely not disappointed because I love the Bowler's normal card in this game it was brilliant especially at the start so uh, I'm hoping that this moments item is a nice upgrade and hopefully it's a very effective item in the game so let's have a look you've got two SBCs to complete one of them is an 84 overall with a UV player and the other one is a 85 overall with a Syria player and an inform so uh um, considering you're getting a 91 rated card back, that's not particularly too expensive um, in my opinion for what you're getting. So this is what we'll be submitting for the first SBC. It's quite a mix as you can see. We've got Serie A, we've got La Liga, we've got Premier League and we've also got Bundesliga as well. But um, that'll do and for that one we get a Prime Electrum Players Pack. And then for the much more expensive SBC, we are submitting these players. We do have Handanovic and uh, Dybala in there to you know keep the rating up. There's also a David Silva and for the rest of the squad we've mostly used 83s obviously we've got an inform requirement as well which is you know not too expensive so let's submit that and for that one we get a rare mixed players pack cool it's now done the power de Bauer is coming in to the club i do hope um, he does have a pretty cool dynamic which currently um, apparently isn't in the game but hopefully that does indeed come soon obviously the uv dynamics are a bit different because he have got to edit them so uh, their kits are blank but uh, nonetheless looks like a pretty good card on face value looks really nice so hopefully in game it's going to be great right then this is the team we are going to be using paolo in obviously going to be up top in the 4-2-3-1 formation but he's definitely going to get tried out also in the camera as well because it looks like he could fit both of those roles really really nice Nicely. Now let's quickly jump over the foot bin to uh, discuss chem styles for this guy, even though I get the feeling it's pretty obvious which chem style we're going to use. Now, interestingly, with a basic chem style, this guy in game becomes a 95 rated cam, but is only an 89 rated striker. That is quite the difference. So that kind of tells you uh, the role that this guy could play in a team. Now, if we're going to be using him as a striker, I think Hunter chem style is going to be the obvious one, and uh, it definitely does give him a notable boost. His shooting stats become absolutely brilliant, and his pace obviously becomes top tier as well so uh, I think we will be going for that hunter chem style and um, that just makes him look really really good to be honest so uh, really looking forward to trying him out both as a striker and as a cam in the comment section be down below I want to hear from you guys where would you play this guy striker or cam or maybe out wide um, in a wide cam role and uh, which chem style would you use on him so chem style applied let's now have a look at this item he's got a four star skill moves and a three star weak foot it is kind of unfortunate that they haven't given him a weak foot boost because they have done that with some other special SBC cards and um, would have definitely been useful for Dybala in my opinion and um, so let's move on to the traits and there is loads of them we've got flare outside the foot shot finesse shot which is pretty nice and uh, in terms of in-game stats like I've already said, the card looks really, really good from a technical standpoint. Some absolutely um, elite stats here. Like, look at that dribbling department. 95 agility, 93 balance, 97 ball control, 94 in-game dribbling. Those are really, really good attributes. And some of them are literally end-game. In fact, a lot of them are. Passing looks brilliant. 90 crossing, 95 vision, 95 short passing. Absolutely terrific stats. And then the shooting department is also really solid. Good long shot rating of 90, decent finishing of 87, and a nice shot power of 85, all of which will of course be boosted by the Hunter chem style. And then the pace looks very nice too. 93 acceleration, which will be boosted to 99 in game via the Hunter chem, and uh, 86 sprint speed, which will go to 96. The only like standout issue with this card is the fact that his weak foot isn't that great, and also his strength and aggression isn't that high. But other than that, it really does look like a very, very good card. Stamina of 85, also worth noting, not particularly amazing, so if you're sprinting with him a lot, that could be a factor, but um, hopefully it's not too bad in game. Anyway, let's just get into some matches, let's try him out, and let's see if this guy lives up to his stats. Let's go then, no messing about, straight into a game, and of course, we're up against a team which are playing five at the back. I'm presuming in game he's going to switch to a 4 2 3 1, but um, ultimately, that's a ridiculous team featuring some absolutely ridiculous players, so uh, this game could be tough, let's focus. Bellerin plays it down the line to Paolo Di Bala who dinks it into the box with his right foot and oh wow I don't know what has just happened what a weird animation that was I hope you all saw what I just saw 
Wants to maybe break now. If I can find the right pass here for Dybala, who beats his man. He's done well to do so. Can he get the dink over the keeper? Right-footed finish. Yes, he can. Nice finish. Great run. And a great way to open his account. Oh, ah. oh he's found Dybala. In a bit of space here. Here's a chance. Keeper's off his line, and we unfortunately do not take full advantage. I maybe should have gone for the finesse there. Good play. Can Dybala hold off Kunda here? He can. And he's going to set Ribery free. Keeper's off his line once more, and we go for a dink again. Is it going to get cleared off the line? It is. Oh, ah. Into Ribery. Ribery into the box. Oh, Guzans just does enough. Well, it's 2-1 at the break, and I won't lie, I'm feeling a bit hard done by. Um, he pretty much scored straight off the kickoff after we equalised, which is always a bit annoying, but uh, it is what it is. We're still in this game, and hopefully in the second half we can pull off a nice comeback. Continuing. Who now has a quite a bit of work to do, but that's a nice ball in for Mbappe, and that's a great goal. What a goal that was. The outside the foot cross from Dybala, and Mbappe's header finding the bottom corner. Chance Dybala ties it up. No commentary there because I was just fully focused on getting back into this game. Ribery shoots across goal. Dybala's in the right place at the right time to bring us level. Well, the full-time whistle went in this one and we are heading into extras. Go on, Dybala. Oh, great ball for Awa. Awa gives it back to Dybala and we have the lead for the first time in this game. Great bit of play right there. I'm trying to skip this. Why is it not skipping? Oh, I've got to hold the thing now. It, it's not letting me skip this. I want to skip it. I'm not trying to celebrate like a Mbappe into the feet of Awa. Here is the baller now. Oh, I just got knocked off the ball there. Tavernier finds the baller in the box. Who gets the ball back to Tavernier, who goes for the finesse. Unlucky. Here's a chance. Oh, it is a big chance as well. And the baller on his weak foot's giving us a two-goal lead. So after a very dramatic first half of extras, we have ourselves a two-goal cushion heading into the final 15. And there is the full-time whistle. We get ourselves a very good... 5-3 victory. We were 3-1 down at one point and I was fearing the worst, especially with the ridiculous team this guy has. Like, even look at the subs that he brought on. George Best, Messi and Kerr. Um, absolutely mad. But uh, we got the job done and the Bauer outstanding with four goals. Okay then, couple of games have now been played. It is time to discuss the performance of at this moment the Bauer and... I think he's quite good. I really did enjoy using this item. There definitely are a couple of notable things which hold him back, which we'll discuss in a moment, but there's a lot of positives to his card, and uh, yeah, it, it performed well for me, which is obviously great. And I've got to tell you, I don't think the price of this item is that bad at all. I think this SBC is priced very, very nicely, especially compared to uh, you know something like that Rebra SBC that we got the other day. So uh, yeah, I think good value, especially if you run with a Serie A side. Anyway, let's talk about in-game performance of this card. The first thing I want to discuss is the pace because even though we had a Hunt Kemp style on this guy and in theory he should have had something like 97 pace I think it is um, it didn't feel quite that quick in game for me don't get me wrong definitely did not feel slow but did he feel like you know top tier pace not quite so uh, there is something to note there and um, still very quick though so don't worry uh, for those of you who love your pacey forwards and um, positionally very happy with this card got on the end of some really good um, passes and in general just popped up in the right areas which is definitely something you want to see from any attacking player so happy with that area of his game too crossing was very very nice you definitely could use this guy in a wide role if you wanted to whip in crosses and his short passing game is up to a very very good standard which is awesome through balls not too brilliant but they're uh, definitely not terrible and um, when it comes to shooting i like his finishing in general and he's got good shot power too not the most like clinical forwards that I've used this year but still um, definitely shoots up to a really nice standard and as I say with his positioning being so good he does get plenty of chances which is obviously very very beneficial. When it comes to dribbling no complaints there I think his ball control is excellent his first touch was great for me and his agility in general on the ball ability felt very very smooth so uh, happy with that. Now let's come on to the negatives of this card an obvious one is the freestyle weak foot and I'll say this I don't think his shooting with the freestyle weak foot, the right foot, was bad at all. But his passing with that freestyle weak foot wasn't that great. Another notable downside to this card is the strength. In game, he just doesn't quite have it. And he is one of them players who can be very, very easily knocked off the ball. So he is one of them that you've got to use that dribbling. You've got to avoid would-be defenders. Or you are going to be very easily dispossessed of said football. His stamina, I didn't find to be too bad. Obviously, we did go into extra time in, I don't know if it was the first or the second game. And he survived the 120 minutes. Yeah, he was tied towards the end. But that would be expected of any player. Sadly, he doesn't really have too much 
much aerial ability despite having a decent jumping stat. Still got dominated in the air for me. Um, but still, like plenty of positives to this card. And as I say, I think it's a good item. And it's a utility attacker as well. You can use this guy as a striker. You can use him as a cam. You can use him in the wide areas. And you're going to have success with him. It's a good card. And in my opinion, 185k definitely is not a bad price. And like I've already touched on, if you run with the Syria theme sad, it seems a no-brainer to get this SPC done. Because, uh, yeah, it's, it's a good card. I just wish the weak foot was a bit better. If this guy had a five-star weak foot, like, I think he'd be, you know, like, genuinely near top tier. Because, uh... Yeah, that right foot at times can just let him down in the passing department and ultimately can uh, lead to him losing the ball. But a uh, good player, and like I've already touched on about five or six times now, the value is not bad. I saw some people on Twitter complaining about the price. I really don't think this is a bad price, SBC, at all. In the comments below, I want to hear from you guys. What are your thoughts on this item? What are your thoughts on the price? And uh, what are your thoughts on the Team D midfielders too? Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.